You know, the Dauber has another channel called the Frugal Grandpa. I haven't done anything with it. I got the idea of naming it that from another channel that's called Frugal, Frugal Granny. But we, I, I'm more frugal than my daughter is. Now, she went and bought a broom because this one, I, I use super, I use Gator, uh, this Gorilla Glue on this to try and hold it in there, but it wasn't holding. So, I'm gonna show you how to make a broom that's just as good as that one she just paid ten dollars for, even though the rest one's slightly used. But. You just need to save money where you can, especially if you ain't got two nickels to rub together. So I'm gonna try the super glue again, but I got another little trick up my sleeve. Um, I got another little thing I'm going to do, and if it comes loose this time, then I'm stumped. I am stumped. Okay. Now, I'm going to stick this. Are y'all able to see that? Yeah, y'all able to see that. I'm sticking that back in there. Um, now, I'm going to take some of these curbside junky screws that I got. They're new, but they come curbside that somebody threw away, and they're self-tapping. So, let me change this direction of that. Now, let's see what happens here. There you go. In there, baby. Now. Let's do one on this side. A little bit lower. Wait a minute. Now, that's got two screws in there holding that in, and it ain't coming out of there now, and that glue ain't yet time to set. Now, I'm going to put some more glue around this too, but you know what? I got some sweeping to do first. Uh, yep. Whoop, that was a mess. Uh, oh boy. <laughs> I got some nasty burp coming out. Ah, still working on getting this cleaned up. Man, I'm so much stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll put more glue on that too, but right now. I got some sweeping to do. You know, my problem, the dauber's problem, is that I can't work more than 
four or five minutes at a time. You know, the standing up and physically doing stuff. I just stop and write all that stuff that's piled up right there, right out there. And I got it out there and now I have to stop. Now, I'm going to try to sweep this floor out. I, I wonder if sometimes I feel like I need to be showing my my face. I wonder if uh, I don't know what to do. I, I wonder if there's some way that I could kind of get in better shape. I, 78, do you, can you get in better shape when you're that old and decide to do it? I don't know. I know a couple months back I thought I'd start walking every day around the block and do it for about a month to see if that done anything. If it helped. Oh, oh, pains in my foot. You know what? I've been trying to get off that gavel fenton, but it don't, I don't think it's going to happen. Because now, I'm down to a half of, I'm down to one fourth of a dose on what I was taking. I'm three quarters down and I get some bad pains in my foot, especially my ankles. Oh, I don't, I don't expect I'll be able to get off that gallop pen. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do a, another live stream, but it's not gonna be part of my live at five on Saturday. This is gonna be a live stream with people that's struggling with gabapentin and neurointin and trying to get off of it and what kind of damage they think is caused. I'm gonna promote that. Um, I'll make it a premiere. I don't know how that works, but I'll find out. But uh, there's a lot of people out there struggling with gabapentin. And I recently found out that gabapentin has now become a street drug that they call Johnny's. And I don't know, they don't make you high, at least they don't make me high. Uh, I don't know what, what they want them for. But they say the pills are like, a, they're selling them on the street for like, a, one or two dollars a piece. Um, that means I probably got, if I was going to sell them, I'd have maybe five thousand uh, dollars. Of course I would never do that. Uh, but I sure got a bunch of them. Because where I've been cutting back and they kept filling my prescription, filling my prescription, every time they give me a bottle uh, every three months, it was 500 uh, in the bottle, 300 milligram size. And I've got one, two, three, four. I've got five or six bottles, but it's, it's 500 in a bottle. And they just kept filling them up, sending them in with my regular meds. Um, it's just a thought. Now I'm going to sweep the floor. I'm going to point the fan towards out the door so the dust don't start blowing in here. Oh. So.
Okay, well, there's my broom. I'm going to stumble around here and fall. It seems funny to see the floor in here now. I still got a ways to go. Whew. I can't work long, folks. Uh, all right, I got to sit down. I got to sit down. Damn, come it. If I could work at a normal pace, then I used to could. Now I gotta shovel all this stuff up out there to uh, put it in buckets. And um, then I don't know what I'm gonna do with it. Probably haul it away from here. Oh boy. You know, things will start moving along a lot faster once I get all this cleaned out and get the stuff stowed away. And bringing stuff in. Now. Let me sit back down again. Oh boy. Where's my pickup stick? Let's see, what was that? It's a piece of solid ass steel. I'm gonna keep that. I got an idea. That's trouble me. I get too many ideas. <laughs> I get too many ideas. Oh, let me get a drink of my root beer. I wish that had some ice cream in it, like I need it. Like I need it. Yeah, folks, I tell you when. <laughs> my mind it still wants to think like a 20 year old and what the world is that part of that's going out there it still wants to think like a 20 year old it knows my mind knows it ain't no 20 year old but my mind still wants to think like a 20 year old and that's is that a piece of a room why well, but no it's some silver duct tape um but it's got to where I gotta think like a like an old person. Like I'm sitting here on my stool 
and I'm sweeping. Boy, look at that floor. <laughs> oh my goodness. Now when I get this all worked out, I'm gonna close that door and keep it closed. Cause the time's coming pretty soon, I would say in the next two or three months. Oh. Uh, I'll have to turn one of them heat bulbs on in here just before I can stand to work in here a little bit. But, let me get, I get this as clean as I can. Yeah, my mind needs to work like an old person. And that sitting here sweeping one way. I don't exhaust. And you know what the funny thing is? The funny thing is, um, ah, shoot. I don't know why I won't put my mug on there, but the funny thing is, my legs is very tired when I walk on them much. But I've noticed here lately that our sofa and love seat in the living room used to if I sat down on that I had to have help getting that stood back up and now I can actually make my legs might be getting in better shape I don't know but I can actually get stood up by myself so I don't know what's up with that Of course, maybe it's just that, but the numbness in my feet is just terrible, and and there, it's kind of dead. I really have to be careful driving, cause with these things, can you see them things? These things I'm wearing for shoes, it's very hard, and my feet's numb. And the space between the gas, the accelerator pedal, gas pedal and the brake is not very much and if you're not careful i'll either be hitting the brake or the accelerator when i mean to be hitting the other one so i have to really watch that sometimes i kick that thing off and go barefooted in that one foot um i've done that several times um all right i ain't getting nothing done let me yeah, once I Okay. Now this door And see, I even have trouble. I have to hold my hand on there and hold my elbow up. Where I gotta put my dumb glasses on. Where is my glasses? Oh, mercy. It's right there. There, now it's on it. Okay. Now I can sit down a minute, think about it. Uh, where am I going to put the fans? Right now, as long as I'm sweeping, I want that fan pointed out the door. Um, now I got to figure out what's wrong with this light up here. 
it quit working on me and I know it's not burnt out. It's, it don't look like it, but that thing's not but about a year old. That might be a little older than a year old. They were brand new. I bought them over at uh, Swinger Brothers. $10 a piece. I actually had a lens cover thing over it and all that stuff. It was uh, not you. It was brand new. It was stuff that was left over off of a hospital job. So. That's a whole lot of micro processing I got to do there, but I'm getting it all organized. I'll start filling up the crates with that stuff instead of having it laying all around and put it down and I'd stack these crates. I got quite a bit of that stuff. Um I'm getting there. Boy, I still got a long haul here at that gunny. Oh. This is a cast iron frying pan. It was given to me and my wife in 1964. So you can do the math. And somebody throwed it out and broke the dang handle off of it. It was a wedding gift present to me and my wife from her oldest sister. I sure wish I could find that handle. But one of the, one of the boys throwed it out because it was dirty, they said. It needs cleaning up. It went through a fire, too. Um, oh, I'm telling you. I have got a lot of these. I can put these. Well, I thought I did have them on something. I gotta get organized. I gotta get another basket in here. got a lot of depopulating I need to do on some of these green boards. I'm about ready to call it a day. That's steel. That's a magnet. That's um that's a uh, rivet. I don't have a one inch belt sander anymore, but just in case I do get one, which I'm thinking about doing, I'm gonna hang on to that. Uh, yeah, I'm wore out now. Oops. Oh boy. I had a thought I wanted to say and I that gonna be it, it left my mind just just that thing quick. There was 